Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm back with a festive video and it's a Christmas 2020 home tour which I'm really excited about. I've been wanting to do for ages and just not gotten around to it. So without further ado, I'm not gonna ramble on. I'm gonna get straight into the video. So cue the intro. try and remember where I got everything from and how much it was so this room is all white cream and silver and um, so I'm gonna start in this corner first so I got this unit from all the furniture is from Laura Ashley that you see all the mirrored furniture in the room um, so on this corner I haven't really done very much Christmassy I've just got my existing mirror up a couple of ornaments and I've got a hot wax electric burner um, and I don't know if you can see the detail on that but it's really pretty and then along the back of the unit I've just used a little rope garland with white berries and some acorns on on the window I have a poodle along with an arch, a double arch and I've just got on a mirror tree a little cone Christmas tree. I've also got a big silver heart in the window and some diamante snowflakes. I haven't done anything to the Louis chair although it does look quite Christmassy because of the style of it. Um, I have got that sparkly cushion on which I guess is quite Christmassy and um, I didn't have any way to hang my stocking and I absolutely love this stocking which I got from Matalan it was only nine pound but it's really chunky soft iron with a lovely lurex thread running through it and um, so I've just kind of hung that on the on the hook the curtain hook um, down here you'll see my huge lantern which you would have probably seen me uh, dress on one of my previous videos so I've literally just put a little bit of fake snow in the bottom of there and some Christmas trees and some berries and I've also put some lights in there but it doesn't show up as well on camera with the lights on so I've chose to keep them turned off the only thing I have in this room that's got colour is this stag and this stag was from last year's and I just absolutely love it it's really deep red velvet and I just kind of didn't want to get rid of it even though it doesn't match the room very well so under the TV I've just got a couple of the Poundland tea light holders in white and silver and then I've just got a big tray which I got from TK Maxx and I filled that with Christmas papuri and some little fairy lights then move on to another one of my little units and I've just put three Christmas trees on here. The large one at the back came from Matalan and the two um, at the front came from Asda, I believe. I can't remember 100%. And the big one with the dove on was actually gold and I just spray painted it silver. And then I just teamed it with a little um, polar bear at the front there. Then moving on to my fireplace. I've just put some pine cones in the fire and um, we don't use the fire it's electric fire so we just use it for the lamp and um, just to give a nice warm glow on one side of the fireplace I've got a little stag which I got from home bargains I believe I can't remember 100% um, and on the other side I have a candlestick which I got from the range and that's like an artichoke um, on the fireplace I have three candles which are battery operated and they just have some, they're embellished with some jewels, um, snowflakes and they came from the range. Then on my garland on the fireplace I did order two garlands from last year from eBay and they were just so thin and spindly and um, so I've gone ahead and put two together just to give it like a fuller look. I actually seen another YouTuber doing this using more than one garland. Um, actually you must check out her channel it's just called Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the petal on rather and um, she's a fab crafter she's got some brilliant ideas so definitely well worth looking at your channel i will link it in the description below um so i'll go ahead with my garland and show you um i'll give you 
a view from a distance first to see what it looks like it's just really pretty it's white and um, i'll try and remember where i got most of the stuff from so i've gone ahead and embellished that with some frosted eucalyptus which i got from the range and i've just got that cascade nova with some silver foliage i've also used some pearl beads just to kind of soften the whole look um, so some of the things on the garland are the swans I got from Home Bargains, the roses I got from Dunelm, um, I got those flowers from eBay, I got the masks from AliExpress, I got the little doves from Poundland, um, I got those last year from Home Bargains as well as the Merry Christmas sign. Um, and this other side are just pretty much mirrors. Um, the first side, I've got these beautiful baubles, which are so heavily embellished with glitter and, and um, pearls from the range. And I've got these little mirrors from the garden centre. And that's pretty much it for the fireplace. We'll then move on to the console table, but I've kind of got a poodle sitting in the way jump down peaches good girl so on the console table i'll start on the top um so you might have seen me doing that back candle on one of my diys and that was just a candle that i picked up from um home bargains and i put a little decorative door handle on the top just to embellish it i've also on that tray got um a decanter with port in and a couple of glasses and a little grass glass christmas tree i'm burning one of the candles which is classic panettone which i picked up from home sense and i've just got a big huge chunky lamp which i got from the range and that's got a white shade um and the mirror at the back is from oh where did i get that from past cent uh, past times which i don't believe is there anymore i think it's just an online company now and underneath the console table i've got a basket with just kind of throws in there and that is that then moving over to the sofa i've got these taupe colored cushions which are also very heavily embellished with crystals and sequins and they just say winter wishes and i got those from sainsbury's i've also on the sofas i've got throws from Matalan Wilkinson's I've got a couple of sheepskins and just some fur cushions then moving over to my Christmas tree I haven't got the lights on like I said earlier because I don't feel like you can see the decorations as much um, if you didn't see me do my flocking video, I will also link that below I flocked the Christmas tree and the garlands um, which from flock that i actually purchased from amazon but there is video so i will link those so i'll start at the top i used some beautiful pearled stems that i got from the range um i got the deer from home bargains as i did with the white christmas sign and just some of the decorations i used most of them are from the range and home bargains um, masks again were from AliExpress. You might have seen me in a previous DIY making these personalised baubles. Um, but I think there's just some beautiful decorations on here that came from the range, like these pearl ones, and everything's quite glitzy. The big flowers were from, from Dun Elm again. I got the snow boots from Home Bargains. Um, under the tree I've just got this is the newest edition and that is a little poodle which I picked up from Asda um, and under the tree I've just got a few stags on a white tree skirt which I got from the range and I've got a little shadow box in let it snow and I got that from a poundland so that is kind of pretty much it for the christmas tree i got these huge baubles from poundland as well which i absolutely adore um i've obviously got some of the per uh, personalized baubles which i made in one of my previous videos as well on there so now i'll just shut the door so you can see what i have on the doors So on this door, I've just got a white feathered star and I've just embellished that with a button which I picked up from Home Bargains for 99p. And on the other door, I made a garland. 
using just leftover baubles and put a mask in the middle. Use I used one of the um, the forms, the polystyrene forms from Poundland, and just heavily embellished it with um, some little silver sprigs and some feathers, and that was pretty much it for that. So, actually, whilst I'm on. I must mention the scent I'm burning in my wax melt burner is was gifted by a company by a company called by Ellie. I will link her web page in the description below. She's a small business. She makes absolutely beautiful wax melts. They're really nicely packaged. I don't know if you can see the they've got glitter in them. They're absolutely beautiful. They smell divine. This one is called Diamond. Um, and I do have a discount code for you to get 10% off your first order. And I'll also link that below as well as our website. I just think it's so important at the moment to support small businesses. Um, everybody's kind of struggling. So it would be great if you could just swing by her site and just give it a little look. Um, so yeah, so this is the living room. So now I'm going to move up to the bedroom. Now moving on to the kitchen, I haven't got a huge amount of Christmassy stuff going on in here. Um, although I do have a stag up on the wall, I guess he's quite Christmassy. Um, other than that, I've got a drink station, a hot chocolate station. Um, so I'm just using a tray which I picked up from Aldi, the mirror tray, which was $12.99. I'm also using one of the Poundland candle holders and I've just made that into a little gingerbread dome. Um, place some gingerbreads in there i've got a little light up house um a gingerbread lady at the back are full of gingerbreads and i made a cup using my cricket machine um i just put a little snowman on that um, sorry a gingerbread man with some snowflakes and some hearts and i've just filled that with toppings for hot chocolate i also spray painted um, a Christmas tree just to match the rest of the room and I've got a tiered canister at the back with hot chocolate, marshmallows and candy canes in and I just ha hung a little copper bauble off that just to kind of bring it all together. I'm burning another candle that I got the other day from TK Maxx and that is in sugar sugar cookie sugared cookies and um, that smells absolutely divine it's so Christmassy. Over in this corner I've just got a little Noel sign which I spray painted and just added a little bit of glitter so it just matched the rest of the kitchen and on my windowsill I've got a lava lamp a glitter lava lamp with copper glitter in and a couple of copper um, candle holders um, I've got some hand wash and Moisture, hand wash and moisturizer and that is the winter collection and that is orange clove and cinnamon um, but apart from that there's not a great deal of Christmassy stuff going on in here um, but kind of just enough really for the kitchen so that is kind of now the kitchen move into the bedroom so in here the color scheme is grey white and blush um, so I'll start with the dressing table. I only put a few Christmas things in here. So I've just got a Merry Christmas sign in blush. And I've also got a cone shaped tree in blush as well. And just painted on the dressing table with some white and silver accessories. Uh, then put my tree up. The tree is all blush. This muted silver colour, which I think that style looks quite art deco. Um, and some normal silver. And I've just topped that tree with the large feathers I got from B&M. And a silver star. Um, and teamed it with all the blush accessories. I absolutely love it. It's just so tranquil in the evening. Just lying in bed. And it's only sort of slightly, it's not overlit. So it's just, it's just really nice and peaceful line of bed in the evenings um, with the TV on and the only other Christmas accessory I put in this room was an arch that I put on the windowsill and I've also got an arch on my son's window next door so the front of the house looks really sort of peaceful and tranquil with the three arches um, but apart from that that's pretty much all I've got going on in here is um, yeah it's just the tree and a, a couple of small small decorations really but it's kind of just enough for the bedroom so the theme in here is teal 
and I've done the mirrored shelf with a garland and I've used two garlands up the staircase actually I think this looks more effective with the light off so I'm going to turn the light off so I can show you what the garland actually looks like when it's all lit up at night so I've got two teal bulbs in the lamps well they're actually colour changing bulbs so I can have them any colour I want and I just thought it was really fitting to have them teal at the moment um so starting here i've just got a dark like bottle green large bauble and everything else is kind of teal blues and that's matched up with gold i've got some huge acorns Um, i think the teal just sparkles beautifully at night i think it's really pretty um i've got some little masks some peacock feathers and lots of interesting sort of glittery ornaments that i think it just looks absolutely beautiful in the evening it's just so nice with just the lamp lights on and um, now i'll take you up the staircase so i'll just pop the light back on so you can see again i've got the gold and the jade and um, the teal theme running up the staircase I've got some huge glass baubles hanging from underneath the handrail and I've just got some beads hanging just to kind of soften the look. So going up the staircase, I've got a feature wall, which is like a gallery wall, and I've just got old vintage mirrors on here. I'll give you a better look when I get up the stairs. So these are all mirrors I've picked up from the auctions over the years, um, and I just love the sort of like old vintage sort of theme. And all I, I've got up here is I've got a sort of Art Deco style mirror at the top of the stairs. I've got a couple of gold Christmas trees and an arch light and again the theme up here is quite it's teal and black that now brings us into the bathroom so the bathroom is black white and shot and pink so I've got a little bit of Christmas going on in here um, so as you can see I've got lots of shot and pink going on I've got a shot and pink Roman blind and mirror so I just thought I'll bring that in with a little Christmas tree so I've got a white Christmas tree and with a little white stag underneath and again another little domed ornament and um, that's all I really have going on Christmas in here apart from I've got a little snowman hand wash there but apart from that um there's nothing that's really christmasy so going guys, on in this so guys that brings me to the end of the video i really really hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to hit that subscribe button i do have a lot more festive videos coming up over the next two weeks um so till next time